Hello Fluffy viewers, Kitsu here with another tutorial on BTubing. Today I'll be exploring a bit of BTube Studio. If you don't know what BTube Studio is... What's wrong with you? Well, BTube Studio is a very popular BTuber software made for just 2D BTubers. It's commonly used by famous talents and even some small creators. It's free to download and use however you like. There's a paid version as well, but the free version is good enough. For this tutorial you can download any asset of your choosing. Many artists create VTuber assets, so you can find them on X, formerly known as Twitter, Etsy, or Kofi. You can get some free VTuber assets in my Kofi page in the description below if you like. Alright, if you're all set, then let's go. Alright, so the first thing you will do is download B2 Studio on Steam. Once you download B2 Studio, you can go ahead and open the software if you like. But we'll be right clicking on here. Click, uh, go on Manage, then Browse Local Files. You'll be taken to the B2 Studio folder, go to B2 Studio Data, Streaming Assets, and you have all your assets in this folder. But you will go to the Items, and you'll see your PNGs in this folder. And to get your custom B2 assets in here, which are also PNGs, you can just go ahead and click and drag them in using some of my assets in here which are from Persona 5. So let's get a Noir Mask and Joker Mask in here. Click and drag and there it is, there it is. And yeah, you can see they're right in there. Go ahead and open up BTube Studio. Alright, BTube Studio is open. Click OK on all of this. Alright, and you'll be giving your BTuber model. So you can click right here and select any of these free models that you have. I'll go with the Iori A, also mostly known as the AI VTuber. So you can scroll back and forth to zoom in. Um, but this is not going to be a complete tutorial of BTube Studio. So we'll go here to the little star, item settings, like that. And you dragged in the downloaded VTuber um, asset files. So I clicked and dragged my Persona 5 assets in here. So search for the mask. So you can see we got the Joker mask in there. So like that. And then item order. So negative means that it's gonna be behind your character. You can see right here there's a line and a dot. And it tells you the distance of that PNG. So since it's a mask, it's gonna go in the front. Click OK. Alright. There's the Joker mask. Click and drag. So all these like pop-ups are pretty much just tutorials. And if the mask does not sit well with a character, you can hold control and then scroll. And you can rotate it. There we go. Alright. And once you let go of it, it'll follow the character. And then you can double click to lock it in place. And you cannot move it or anything. It's finally locked into place. So there you go. <laughs> so yeah, there it is. It's pretty much how to import your assets, VTuber assets, into V2 Studio. You can go crazy and import multiple ones if you like. Let's say we want to get rid of the Joker mask. So we'll just go right here, remove all items. Select. And then the Joker mask is gone. Click back in the star. And then we can just go ahead and go to the Noir mask, click the Norm mask, and then leave it on 1. And then you can click the star again. We haven't locked it in place, and that's fine, because you're going to be importing multiple PNG files. Let's go for the Noir hat, and that's number 2. Alright, it's going to be in front of the mask, and it's going to be covering it. Place it on your character. We can just... Lock the hat in, and then lock the mask in, and there you go. That's how you do VTuber assets on VTube Studio. So you can go ahead and do as many fun things as you like. As you can see, it's a really easy process. It also works with other models, including ones that you download for free. The process to import a new VTuber model is the same way. I hope this tutorial has helped you. I hope it helps some, I mean, some um, beginner B tourists are just starting out. 
So thank you so much for watching this B2 tutorial. If you enjoyed this video, you can help by hitting the like and subscribe button, share with others, and you'll be seen in the next video. Chaos Control. Yeah, that was a pretty bad Shadow the Hedgehog impression, wasn't it?